Francisco? What are you doing here? Why did not you go to the English class today? Hello, teacher. I am really sorry. I did not feel like going to classes today. Okay. But what happened? Could not you make it on time or what? No, teacher. I had arrived on time, but I just stopped to think about some things. Can I know what those things are? Maybe I can help you. I don't think you can help me. I mean, you are an excellent teacher, but this is something. Well, I was going to English classes as usual, but then I asked myself, what are you doing? You know, I am about to be 60 years old. And I am trying to learn a new language. I know you also think it's impossible for an old man like me to learn a new language, right? Oh, then that's the problem. I see. Can I sit here? Sure. It's not like I'm waiting for someone. You can sit there. So, you think you're too old to learn English? I am gonna tell you some things. You are never too old to learn something new and that includes, of course, a new language. I knew you were going to say something like that, but the truth is different. I know that. Look, it is quite common for me to hear comments such as, it's more difficult because I am older. Or, I am too old to learn English. However, this is not actually true. I will explain it to you. It has been scientifically proven that you are never too old to learn a language or pick up any other new skill. Your body might not have the same agility or flexibility to do sport for example, but your brain can definitely be stretched and challenged to create new neurological connections which can make you an effective learner. People have a wrong idea about learning English. Learning English is not about learning something totally new. That's not correct. Learning a language means linking your pre-existing knowledge of the world to the new input that you receive. Specifically for this reason, adults can be better, or at least more efficient, learners than children. Your many years of schooling and life experience make you receptive and allow you to better understand the intricacies of a language as well as the strategies to apply when analyzing and memorizing new concepts. You see? Then, why do older students think that age is so crucial to their ability to learn English? There are three common factors that students often confuse with age, risk-taking, time and repetition. We improve by trying to communicate and be understood, and this means taking risks and making mistakes. Adult learners are typically less happy to do this than younger students, so it is easy to think age is the barrier to the learning process and use it as a reason to justify not taking risks. Typically, adults also underestimate how much time it can take children to learn. We imagine young people as sponges that absorb everything very quickly, and this can be true in some circumstances. But we should also remember something, how many years of school it can take children to, for example, learn their multiplication tables in math. Compared to children, adults usually have less time to spend on learning a language. 
as they also have to focus on many aspects of life and not only on their studies. Moreover, children often find that repetition is comforting and it reassures them of what they're producing. Whereas adults can find this process quite boring or frustrating, which means they are less likely to repeat new language in the same way. That's the thing. However, repetition of expressions in meaningful encounters such as seeing, hearing, or using the word in a memorable situation is key to learning. Believe me. Research suggests these needs to be done at least seven times before we can say we can, actually, know, the new word or sentence. That's the best way of memorizing new words. Now is also a good moment to consider what it means to be a good language user. Often students have a very narrow definition, for example not to make grammar mistakes or to know a lot of vocabulary. While these can be important, most of the time what we need is to be effective communicators and that means knowing how to build relationships, express yourself and interact. Yeah. Essentially, social and intercultural skills can be as important language knowledge which is why we spend time focusing on these in our English videos, for example. These are also elements that are often easier for more mature people to understand than for children. Is that true? I mean, I get what you are saying and it makes sense, but I don't know. Sometimes, it's difficult for me to memorize a new word. I repeat it over and over again and nothing. And what does knowing a word actually mean? It's not only a matter of recalling it at the right time or being able to use it in the right position in a sentence. For example, it's also about knowing its pronunciation its spelling, and what words best go with it. For example, we say blonde hair, not yellow hair, right? Words can also have different meanings. Bank has a financial institution and the side of a river. Or variations depending on if it's a noun, singular, or plural, with or without article, or if it's a verb or an adjective. Another example is photograph, photographer, photography, photographic, etc. There are also other considerations, for example, if there are words with similar or opposite meanings, if there are differences in register, maybe it's formal or informal, polite or not polite or if there are other words that have the same sound but a different spelling like hair and hair. What I mean is all of these elements require you to make links and connections in your brain, which can become a conscious activity for mature adults and as a consequence, it becomes easier for them to learn a new word. Because you can think clearly about more things. You can interact with more people, you have more things to relate to that new word. Learning English as an adult has a lot of advantages. That's for sure. That myth that says children learn English faster or better than adults is not true. I hope you could understand what I said. There's no a right age to learn something new. I think you are right, teacher. Plus, I got the higher score on the last exam, so... Exactly. You are doing great at your process of learning English. Thank you so much, teacher. I feel much better now and I'm sorry for not going to your classes. That's okay. Don't worry. 
All I want is you to learn and improve your English. And if you have any questions, you know you can always count on me, Francisco. Yes, teacher. I know that now. Thank you so much for your help.